Okay, so our page is starting to look pretty nice, but now what I'm going to work on is centering these elements inside this div. Again, div is another word for section. Uh, so this is pretty easy. So let's go into Sublime. So inside this prof box div, so this entire thing, uh, we're going to say text line center. Okay, I save the file, I go back here and I refresh it, and boom, everything is centered. So this is great, but the font is a little bit not nice. So we can make the font a little bit better. So what we can say is for this entire HTML document, right, this entire HTML document, we're going to say the font family should be Helvetica new, okay, and then sans serif. So this sans serif just means that um, we want Helvetica new, but if this font is not found, then it's going to default back to sans serif. Uh, you don't need to worry about this too much. Just uh, let, let's just refresh this page and see what it looks like. So our font changed and it looks uh, a little bit nicer, but we can do better. So next what we can do is we can actually, let's play around with the font styles. So we right click on this H1 and click inspect and it takes us to this, uh, this Google Chrome inspector page. So this is pretty cool. We can test out different styles. So we can say things like color red and boom, it's red. And this is really handy. You can say color blue and immediately it's blue. But this isn't permanent. If you refresh the page, it's back to white, so just be careful. But we can experiment inside this window. So we can say font weight 100. So font weight is basically another word for the boldness, the boldness of the text. So if I say 100, it's this. If I say 600, it's uh, you know bold. So let's do 100. It looks pretty nice. And then I can say letter spacing. So letter spacing is the spacing in between the letters. So if I say one, it's this, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? 10. So this is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it at four maybe, or five, yep. And then I can say font size, maybe 40 pixels. Yep, so this looks really nice. Uh, maybe I'll even make the letter spacing six. Okay, so this looks pretty nice. But again, if we refresh this, these styles will be gone. So let's copy and paste this. And we're gonna say for the H1 inside this HTML document, it's gonna have this, these CSS stylings. But um, whenever we write code, we want it to be very easy to read and organize. So notice how this indentation is not constant, uh, consistent. So what we're going to do is we can highlight this and then we can press shift and tab and boom, both of these lines are indented correctly. Okay, so I save this file, I refresh this page and boom, the styles are still here. So this is pretty cool. Now what we want to do is maybe apply some styling here as well. So let's right click, click inspect. And for this P tag, let's play around with the font weight, maybe it's 200. 100, uh, too thin, 200, letter spacing, one, yeah, one, looks pretty good. So now we can copy and paste this. We can say for the paragraph, for the P tag in this HTML document, we're gonna have this styling. Again, let's fix up the indentation. Let's save the file. Let's jump back into the browser. We refresh the page and boom, we still have this, um, this styling that we just applied. Okay, so now it's starting to look pretty good. In the next lesson, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some links, some icons to this resume page so that we can link to our social profiles.